Hey everyone, how you doing? It's Vicious, and here I am live and in person today so I can show you the unboxing of the Zelda Collector's Edition 3DS bundle. I got it because I was out doing Christmas shopping for everybody else, and while I was out there getting things for everybody, I decided to get myself something too. One thing about this product is I really only got it because it was a Zelda thing. I'm a big Zelda fan. And when I was looking for pictures of it online and stuff, I really couldn't find any material that made me feel comfortable knowing what I was getting. This is stock footage, and that's about all you could find. So I decided now that I got mine, I'm going to make a video, show you guys a good, you know, all around image uh, of it so you can see what you're going to get. That way if you want to buy this for yourself or for somebody else for Christmas, you'll know what you're going to get. So let's unbox this thing. I am a firm believer that the bigger the knife, the better the unboxing. And I usually use my little pocket knives. But today I'll show you guys my fixed blade, Marine Corps Stealth Black, Tanto Ticked K-Bar. And I still got it in the brown cardboard box. So anyways, this came from GameStop.com. I ordered it online. I think it is exclusive to GameStop right now. I'm not sure if you can buy it anywhere else. I believe in other countries it's exclusive to different stores. It looks like GameStop packed it pretty good. It's got the little bags of air in here to protect it on one side so it doesn't bounce around. I've seen some horror pictures of things shipped, so I want to make sure you guys saw how it got shipped. I did pay the extra to get this shipped overnight because it was actually only like $10 more, and that's like less than a, a Happy Meal combo or something. And I figured that if you pay for more expensive shipping, chances are they're going to take better care of it for you. This thing is uh, pretty hefty, pretty heavy. Let's show you what the box looks like here. The front, the bottom back of it here. I don't have really great lighting in my room so that kind of sucks. Alright, let's open this guy up. I don't think I even need the knife, do I? Nope, it just rips open. That's a shame. I don't want to rip it open. Alright, let's open it up. Verifying, verifying. Yeah, I gotta rip it open. Zelda Edition Collector's bundle. Uh, this stuff's got some serious glue on it. I'm gonna cry if I find out that I could have opened it up without messing up the box. Uh. Assist me, my knife. You guys having fun staring at the top of my head, probably? There you are. Alright, All right. I opened it from the side of the box. I don't see anywhere else you can open it, except for the side. We got uh, a white box inside of there, which is going to have the 3DS unit, I'm sure. And then in its own little sleeve, here is the Nintendo 3DS Ocarina of Time 3D game. This is supposed to be such a great game. It's actually supposed to be better than the original uh, with some improved graphics and taking really cool use of the gyros and motion controls that the 3DS offers. Stickers, you stand no match. No match at all. This is actually more difficult. <laughs> with a gigantic knife than it is with a little knife. But it's all for the sake of entertainment, I say. Okay, here's the white box. Opening, we got a gigantic quick start guide. I don't know how you call it a quick start when it's that thick. Take off the cardboard. Here's your wall adapter for charging and playing when your battery's dead. This is... I don't know what the heck this is. It is a black stand. I am guessing... I really don't know what the hell that is. I guess it's like a charging dock, so you just plug this into the AC adapter so you can dock it to charge it. That's what it looks like because it has a um, 
a power plug right here on it and on the back here it has input and output uh, amperage so yeah this is a charging dock is what that is and then the only thing left in here is the unit pretty small it's well wrapped all right here we go mm -hmm. it's got protective stuff on it here's the front cover it's the Cosmo Black 3DS, but it has this gold trim with the uh, Zelda glyphs and stuff on it, the high roll and all that. On the back, same thing, gold. Uh, went the wrong way. Gold on there. The back of it also has gold trim where the game cartridges and stuff go in. Opening it up, your home, start, select, power, all your buttons. I'm still going the wrong way. Are all labeled in gold. So, pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to have fun with it, I think. Again, I'm not a huge DS fan. I have a DS Lite and I never really play it. I only play it at certain rare occasions where I know I'm going to be stuck in a place for a long period of time with nothing to do and I can't take my laptop. But the Zelda idea pushed me to the point of getting this. This is going to end the, the video part of the unboxing, but because I really want you guys to get a good idea what this looks like, I'm going to go ahead and take some pictures with my DSLR and splice them into the video so you guys can get some nice high resolution images of this. So I'm going to put that in right now and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.